Hello everybody, today I want to talk about a very important topic because uh, so many people are emailing me about this thing called Ebola, this new virus. Uh, and I remember watching uh, Close Encounters of the uh, Third Kind or whatever the name of that movie was years ago. And they quarantined off a big area and they had all these men in these spacesuits in that area saying nobody can go in that area because it's very contagious as they were saying. Well, uh, some of the people I remember, and I didn't see a movie in a long time, got in that contagious area without these spacesuits. And nothing happened to them. Uh, yes, the media was just creating this, or somebody was creating this idea about this contagious disease. And it created a lot of fear amongst the people. Now, I am not saying that's what's going on with Ebola. Maybe it is, maybe or not. Maybe it's not, but I'm not claiming that at this point. What I am claiming is we have to do uh, the best we can do to be as natural as possible in uh, fighting this illness or any illness if it is, in fact, a true illness. And I just go back, you can look at the basic flu all the way to uh, uh, other illnesses. Now uh, the reports are coming out that the Ebola virus is not only a uh, uh, contagious by touching somebody with it or touching a dead body but now they're starting to say it's airborne and it's an airborne illness well when I look at airborne illnesses and I look at everything I've done in the past to to help myself with airborne illnesses uh, essential oils were always important to me I would take a uh, Thebes oil and and so it's just always wonderful uh, there were oregano oil and there's a bunch of other natural things you could do Building your immune system up as much as possible is what I highly recommend and that's what many of my teachings are all about. However, there's a big thing that our Creator gave us to protect us that many people don't realize and uh, they, they throw that protection away every single day. That is a beard. It is already scientifically confirmed that there are many health benefits to having a beard from helping yourselves uh, against a, a sun protection, from uh, keeping yourself warm in the winter uh, or cooler in the summer, from helping you with pollen and, and allergies uh, and asthma, and also uh, from thyroid issues and even uh, hormonal issues and cancer. These benefits are coming out more and more about the benefit of having a beard or not destroying the beard. Well, I want to submit to you today, and I have not read any report about this on the internet or anywhere else. I have not seen any report about this anywhere, but I want to submit to you something. Possibly having a beard can help protect us from airborne illnesses. And if, in fact, uh, this, this, this new illness of Ebola is an airborne illness, having a beard might just give you some more protection. Now I say might and you say, oh, that's crazy and that's ridiculous. How are we supposed to know that? Well, you better safe than sorry, folks. And I know that uh, when there's a virus in the room or something's happening, uh, like a flu or something else, I am much more uh, protected than other people. And I do believe my beard has a big part of that, uh, is a big part of that. Now, I'm no, in no ways comparing Ebola to the flu. In no ways. Uh, if Ebola is a serious thing, and if there's anyone that watches and knows somebody that's been affected by this, this is a serious thing. I'm not even going to get into the idea of, well, it was made up by somebody else, or somebody created it, or, or it's not real. No, I'm not getting into that in this video, but what I'm telling you in this video, that very possibly a beard might be a natural way of protecting yourself. In your nose are little hairs, in your nose, not out of your nose, but in your nose are little hairs. Those hairs are there to filter out dust, airborne particles, and possibly viruses as well that are airborne like the flu and so on. That's why they're there. If you take a, a little thing, some men might take because they don't want hair to be growing out of their nose and they might just trim it or shave it. Well, if you take that and you take all the hair out of your, your nostrils, you are creating an environment where it'd be much more easier for you to suffer from, uh, again, allergies, pollen, and, and even airborne illnesses and viruses. So not only is the hair in your nose there for protection, but folks, look at this mustache. Look at this beard. 
these things are there for protection. They're not just there for a fashion thing, and now it's not very fashionable to have a beard, but years ago it was very fashionable to have a beard. Uh, but that's not a fashion issue. You know, it's there for a reason. Now people might say, well, why would our creator protect a man and not protect a woman? Because women don't have big beards. Folks, I'm not going to question why a creator does anything. All I'm going to say is, if you have the opportunity to have a big beard, men, uh, and you're worried about airborne viruses and illnesses, this might be another line of protection. You can question what if, you could question why, and you could say I'm crazy. Or you could say, you know what, I'd rather be safe than sorry, and I'm going to give it a try. That's up to you. If you have any comments or questions, post them below the video. I have a strong feeling one day, I don't know if it's going to be sooner or later, but one day people, other people are going to start talking about the connection between Ebola viruses and airborne viruses and having a beard for protection. I have that strong feeling. And again, I haven't seen anything out there yet. Maybe there is and I just haven't seen it, but I, I, I looked quite uh, diligently for it and I haven't seen it. So. Uh, grow a beard, everybody. Beard on. And until then, have a great day.